Okay, okay, I admit, you're a natural. However, what separates a true marksman from a talented amateur is the Hans test. Are you ready for the Hans test? Here we go. Hans! Look at what the cat dragged in. You two look absolutely hopeless. Go on, look around. This is the place where I'll teach you how to fight without stopping yourself in the process. All right, that's quite enough sightseeing for now. Eyes on me, you two. This is a real battlefield, but don't be alarmed. We're perfectly safe at the moment. <clears throat> well, I suppose that moment is past. Where's your sword, recruit? You look eager to swing that thing around, so let's get right down to it. Hit that dummy three times. Nice! Do another! Enough! Single attacks are good. You often want to follow up with a combo. To do this, perform a new attack before you are finished with your current attack. Show me a combo hit on that dummy! There we go! You have your stamina while attacking. Missing will drain it. If you run out of stamina, you will not be able to combo, which can put you in a bad spot. Now I will teach you how to defend yourself against attacks. First, show me you can hold a sword in front of you. And you didn't even hit yourself with it. Well done, recruit. Now parry three of my attacks to show me that you're not completely worthless. <laughs> Again! Ah! Oh! One more! Good! If you quickly time your attacks after a parry, you will perform a repost. A quick follow-up attack that will catch your opponents by surprise. Timing is crucial. You must perform the attack slightly before or exactly at the time of the block. Parry my attack and perform a repost. Excellent repost! There's one more thing about parrying. It only lasts a short while. The way you turn your hips can make your weapon hit sooner or later. This can be used to great effect to throw off your opponent's timing. Try to block three of my strikes as I turn in and out of them. Good! One more! Very good! Make sure you have the stamina to perform a parry. Otherwise, you might end up losing your weapon. Here, I'll show you. Parry my next attack. Ha! Ah, like stealing candy from a baby. I'm not your butler. Go and get your weapon back. Now let's see if you can do more than just mindlessly flail around with that weapon. We will start with a simple horizontal strike. Chop that stick up with three horizontal slashes. Good! One more! Nicely done. Let's see how you perform an overhead attack next. Chop the ugly pumpkin in half with a downwards attack. Good job. Next we have the stop, which is an attack that allows you for precise hits. Stab that cabbage over there! Nice farming, recruit. Most weapons have an alternate mode of use. The longsword you're using can be held in the Mordhau grip mode. 
which increases damage against armored foes. Go on and change into the Mordal Grip. Now smack the helmet off that dummy with an attack from the Mordal Grip. Excellent. We don't need that dummy anymore. Kick it over. Rest in peace, Robert. Kicks cannot be blocked by a parry, so they are an excellent way to mix up your offense and get pesky ruffians out of the way. You can defend yourself against kicks by performing a kick yourself. Block two of my kicks by kicking right before I hit you. Good block. Another. Alright, alright. You've got the hang of it. Sometimes it's a good idea to cancel an attack before it is fully committed. This can trick your opponents into parrying early. You can only cancel an attack before it's fully committed, so don't wait too long. Get around my defense three times by tricking me into parrying, and then hit me for real. Well done! Another way to trick your opponent into parrying early is to perform an attack morph. You can only morph from strike to stab, or vice versa. To perform a morph, start an attack and then start another attack shortly after. This will morph the original attack into the new one, and throw off your opponent's sense of timing. Get around my defense three times by tricking me with a morph! That's enough! I'll show you an advanced maneuver called Chambering next. Instead of parrying, you can mirror my attacks with your own attack. And if you do this just before the attack hits you, it will act as both as a block and a counter attack. You must match the type of attack to successfully chamber. I will perform a left horizontal slash, which you must counter by performing a right horizontal slash just before I hit you. Get ready! Ah! <laughs> 
Outstanding! Now we'll do the same, but with a stab. Stabs are easier to chamber than strikes. All you need to do is perform a stab just before you get it. No need to merely attack. Get ready! Good at this. Now apply all that you have learned and land five strikes on me. But this time I won't hold back. Good. Again. One more! Top notch work recruit, you know how to fight. Follow me, it's time to play with some new toys. Going to shoot some arrows. Pick up that bow. That's the first pickup line that worked for me in a long time. All right, now hit the closest target three times. Far outer circle. Outer circle! Outer circle! Well, well, you're not blind after all. I want some real shots now. Hit that medium range target three times. Far outer circle. Far outer circle. Far outer circle. You're probably just lucky. Want to prove me wrong? Three hits on the far target. Far outer circle. Outer circle. Inner circle. Okay, okay, I admit, you're a natural. However, what separates a true marksman from a talented amateur is the Hans test. Are you ready for the Hans test? Here we go. Hans!
Splendid shot. Don't worry, Hans will be just fine. He's at worse. Follow me, I have a surprise for you. Hopefully you're not afraid of horses. Pick up that lance. The lance is useless on foot, but it is devastating on horseback. Now hop onto the horse. Hans was kind enough to replace the archery targets with some dummies for us. Hit each of those targets with a couch lance charge. Hans would be proud. Now quit horsing around and get off that steed. Follow me. It's time I teach you some siege engineering. Big wooden doors in your way. No problem. Pick up that axe. Take down those doors. Excellent. Now do the other door. What's the matter with you two? Does this look like the place to apply for the Lumberjacks Guild? That's my hard work you're chopping down! Take that hammer and build it all back up to how it was! I do what he says. He seems angry. We better leave now, come. You can also just open the door, of course. Behold! Okay, okay, I know she ain't much. But she definitely can't launch 90 kilograms of projectiles over 300 meters. But be nice to her, okay? She's a good girl.
Those yellow flags look suspicious. Take out that closest yellow flag with a well-aimed shot. Beautiful. Remember, you can always push the catapult a little closer. Once you're in position, take out the middle one. What a spectacle! That one far out there. Can you hit it? Great! Oh no. You took down the enemy siege tower! We were supposed to be in a ceasefire. They are going to retaliate, get back into the camp, soldier, and report for duty. <laughs>